now thank we all our God, with hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us, with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us, and keep us in his grace, and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all ills in this world and the next. All praise and thanks to God the Father now be given, the Son, and him who reigns with them in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. your name forever. Lord, I will bless your name. I will bless your name forever. Bless your name. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great and highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. I will bless your name forever. Lord, I will bless your name Declare your mighty deeds. They will tell of your great glory and splendor and recount your wonderful works. I will bless your name forever. Lord, I will bless your name. and might, they will recall your abundant goodness, and sing of your just deeds with joy. I will bless your name forever, I will bless your name, I will bless your name, I will bless your name. Abounding in mercy, how good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. I will bless your name forever. I will bless your name. I will bless your name. I will bless your name. I will bless your name.
Some Sadducees, those who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no children, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married and died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And so, in the same way, all seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had married her. And Jesus said to them, Those who belong to this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy of a place in the age and in the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Indeed, they cannot die any more, because they are like angels and are children of God, being children of the resurrection. And that the fact that the dead are raised, Moses himself showed in the story about the bush, where he speaks of the Lord as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living, for to him all of them are alive. God of the living, of renewal and change. We pray for those who long for change. For the victims of injustice, warfare, poverty. For those enduring illness, anxiety, sorrow. For those dissatisfied with their lives and with themselves, who long to be shaken up, made new, reborn as your children. We pray for those who long for change. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of the living, of renewal and change, we pray for those beset by change, for those threatened by the breakdown of their community, traditional values, long-held beliefs, for those facing bereavement, redundancy, divorce, and for those without financial, 
emotional or spiritual security, who long for inner peace, for the gift of faith. We pray for those beset by change. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all people today and forevermore. Amen.